morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Wednesday, the 28th day in the month of February. We just have a day to go for February to tell us goodbye. And this is WhatsApp on Galaxy Television from the Overall Program. Be my guest. And this morning, I am here with my guys. We are live, you know, and we are here to make you happy, to make you laugh, and of course, to help you learn something new. But before I go on, let me introduce myself. My name is Omevi Idolor. Get that? That's my name. But I, I want to tell you something this morning that you should understand that no one can make you feel inferior without your consent as a matter of fact you shouldn't even be with people who look down down on other people you should be with people who appreciate you should be with someone who appreciates you someone who loves you someone who wants to grow with you and someone who sees the best part of you on that note i want to say again welcome welcome and welcome to whatsapp on galaxy television you know i always tell you that you can always make yourself happy here on whatsapp what do we do here whatsapp is a program designed for the gen z's when we talk about the gen z's we talk about those between the ages of 16 and 37 but if you are very young at heart you could be 60 70 100 but you're very young at heart you listen to this new generation kind of music and you know all those kind of gen z stuff of course this program is for you here on whatsapp we talk about fashion and lifestyle we talk we do movie reviews we do uh you know celebrity gists you get it where we do some celebrity gossips so we even go as far which is the eyes on the cake we go as far as bringing in celebrities early celebrities that come around to tell you that this how far they've gone in the industry they come around to tell you how they are doing they come around to tell you so many things and of course so encourage you our dear viewers in case you want to come into the creative industry that is what whatsapp is all about it's all around entertainment you got it thank you very much now i still want to tell you that another way to make yourself happy another way you can grow is to go on to your apple play store your apple store or uh, your google play store to download the galaxy app yes you can watch the galaxy tv on the go download the app stream with us on facebook uh on x and of course on instagram live and don't you can't afford to miss all our amazing programs you understand so you don't have any excuse why you you should miss out so go on there download the app on your app store if you're an iphone user or on the google play store if you are an android user and have the galaxy tv you can tell someone to tell someone right now that whatsapp is on on galaxy tv you get it thank you very much and you know i don't have to do this alone i don't have to do this alone i got my guy my g my brother my friend my my puchu puchu with a touch of sugar daddy vibe in his life and i used to call him my bodyguard but from the very day he said if i find trouble he will abandon me to my face i he's no longer my bodyguard though. you understand yes i got orally in the building Aurali. what up what up how you doing lagos nigeria everyone who is watching and listening at the same time to the sound of our voices this is whatsapp on galaxy television mm -hmm. where we will reach for the stars from the borough program be our guest now, of course, this program runs 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Mondays through Fridays. And we give you the best. We give you the live. We give you the giants. Of course, we also bring the vibes. My name is Obina Kenneth or Kenneth Obina. You know me as a big size teddy bear, the host to the most, the OAP with the difference, or Ali Baby A U R A L W E. And this morning, I'm here to tell you that every day, every single day above six feet is a good day. Do not attempt to turn up another person's light bulb just because you want yours to shine the brightest. Also, remember to show love, to show kindness, yeah. always be understanding to everybody around you. That's the best way to live. Now, these are very crazy and terrible times if you have just about a little better than your neighbor and they ask you for help if it's it's much 
with you if you know you have a lot and you can just spare a little please help give all right and make sure that you do not show so much anger if you check there's a case of a woman who's going to court this morning or who has been arraigned because she beat up a police officer over a little issue anger yeah it's crazy anger management is bliss good morning again let's do the show yeah orale thank you very much you talking about sharing and giving i want to say a very big thank you to mrs egalo bome I want to say thank you to Dr. I want to say thank you to some of my friends. You know, they really, orally, there was, there was a drama that happened with me on Monday. Do you know that I just picked up my phone and I called these people that, please, if you don't help me right here, right now, I'll be stranded. And these people turned up for me. Those are the kind of friends you should have. And I posted something, have human beings as friends. You know, yes. Thank you to all those beautiful people in my life. Today, we have a guest. We have somebody in the building. Yes, we are warming up. In the person is like here, 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 here. He's with us here. But I'm not going to reveal the person to you yet. But you will find that just after this break. Stay with us. Welcome back to the show. This is still WhatsApp on Galaxy Television from the overall program. Be our guest. And I still have Orally in the studio with me. Mm -hmm. Just before the break, I told you that we have a celebrity in the building. This is what we do. This is what we know how to do. Giving you the best. Bringing in the best of the best. Let me use Orally's line. Best of the best. So today we have in the studio with us an artist. This guy is musically inclined. Like when I went through his profile, he is something else. I don't know what this person is even doing. What how he found himself in architecture when everything around him is music, music, and more music. You know, he is a celebrity, he is in fact i don't know how to describe this person ladies and gentlemen we have in the building all the way from is it rivers by yes, sir? from Talk all the way from port harcourt <laughs> we have uh Odogu in the building Odogu, welcome to the show thank you so much, thank you so much. Mm. it actually stands slim Odogu. yes you guys are looking great you guys are looking wonderful <laughs> i like how, the, how was it getting into the coming to the studios this morning it was it was great um i think i've been here five years ago oh. yes, i've been here five years ago yes. wow it's been, yes. well, it's been a while it's been a while you're welcome again thank you so much all right this guy said we are looking good i don't know the <laughs> word to use to describe him right now describe you know you like it's your genre <laughs> it's your forte you know, I like, I know, I only appreciate good things, and right now you are looking so handsome. I wanted to say beautiful thank because you. you know, but you, I love the heart, you thank know. Thank you, thank you so much. Is this your style? Your yeah, this is this is actually my line, this is my clothing line. Wow, okay, yes, yeah. okay, wow, More clothing, yes. wow, that's good. It's for slim people, so you <laughs> give up that issue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the one that say you should not be seen? Am I the one? Is it my hey! fault? Is it my fault? Hey! All right, so I'll go and briefly read the profile of Stan Slim Odogo to you. So Stan Slim Odogo is a musician, music producer, video director, and an editor. He holds a bachelor degree in architecture from the Federal University of Technology, MENA, in 2009 and a master's degree in architecture from River State University in 2020. He has over 20 years experience in songwriting, song composition, producing, performing in various bands and choral choir. He has proven that he has the ability to collaborate with different musicians. He has worked, I think that again, he has worked as assistant choir master at the Armed Forces Central Choir Kaduna 
from, 20, from 2001 to 2004. He was also an artist, man, artist manager and music producer at Global Records International from, 20, from 2012 to 2013. He has also served at different capacities such as choir director at St. Catholic Church, Dalet Barak. Kaduna. Music, he was also a musician at Mill Music International to mention but a few. He is very skillful in areas like music theory, music production, recording techniques, and gra oh, graphic designs, content creating, and many more. He is also very good in playing different musical instruments. Ladies and gentlemen, join me once again to welcome Star Slim Odogu into the studio. Welcome, Welcome once again, again. Stan Slim Odogu, okay. yeah. aka SSO. And we are really, really <laughs> happy to have you in the studios this thank, morning. Thank you so All the way from Pitapwa. Yeah. Pitapwa. This, is, this is a man repping his hood, repping his states, repping good music. And of course, um, I'm told uh, you have at least five albums. Yes, yeah, this, this is my fifth studio this album. Is your fifth, yeah, fifth studio, studio album. album, yes. So, yes, on WhatsApp, Galaxy Television, all we do is make sure we bring out the sweetness. Yeah. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. And um, I don't know, maybe we'll be doing justice to um, you in, in terms of asking just regular questions. Yeah. All we, all we want to do is allow the Gen to know you and okay. people who now know you or who have known you to understand um, your journey throughout the year. So, we'll go right ahead. All right. So, we want to know from your profile, we did not see uh, some things. And of course, your fans and your viewers want to know how this whole journey started how did it because architecture music they are two different fields entirely they are not related in any way so how did this journey start well um like to let me start from take off from here um saying for me architecture is a solid form of music okay because architecture is actually print media to the uh, um it's interwoven okay let me start from top um I grew up in Kaduna State, that was where I was born. Um, growing up then, I started from the choir. Okay, okay then in Dalet Barak, St. John Dalet Barak. I, I wanted to play the piano, so when I joined the choir, the piano got spoiled. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> and they say, hey you, you, it's like you have a tenor voice, come and sing in the tenor. So that was how I joined the tenor, I started singing. I said, this, was one, no, this, is not what I'm, this is not what I wanted, I wanted to learn how to play the piano. So after that, they found that I was good. So I, I was duetting, doing um, responsorial psalm. I think I did that with Joanne, and they were like, "We were like, wow, we can't sing and all of that." So after that, I started studying music on my own. You know, um, got a um, graded music course, understanding music. I had to start reading books um, online, and because of what I had, so I sight read. Talking about staff, the great yeah. staff, the semi quiver, yeah. the miss semi quiver. After three years, after they made me the choir master. Then furthermore, they made me the assistant central choir master. Then for the music, I entered more of the R&B and hip hop. I used to have this guy, J. Steve. Um, he's a, he's a, he's my hairstylist. So most time he's always popping Dr. Dre chronics. You know, he's always playing instrumentals. T. Dre, pam 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 pam. So he's always rapping anytime I'm in the studio. Yeah. So each time I call my choir file to make my hair wait in the queue and all of that. Well, then like, we can start a group. So that's how we started a group, Sonata. Okay. So, because I could sing, I could play. So then, I used to produce with um, Yamaha PSR 550. Mm -hmm. There were floppy dicks back in the days. What you use is, we're talking, I'm talking about um, 1997, 98. So we're using floppy dicks. So you put in your dicks in there. Yeah. Then you sequence your piano roll, the drum roll, and the rest. Like that, then you now have it before you take it to the studio. So we're now, so he plays instrument. I have this big speaker, I will always sing. So I always, uh, right across. I think the first tune I did was one. Well, let's party, let's party, let's party, party, party in the club. Yeah, that we party on the low. So there were crisis in Kaduna State. So we had to move from the the northern part to the southern part. So I moved from Kaunia Extension to um, Sabu Dabana High Cost. We now met another guy called Black Soul. So the group now becomes the Sonata. So we're three. So I was a music producer. I was I was a singer. Stay at the singer, but they both were rappers. Okay. So they were baboozing me with um, a whole of rap. So yeah. that's how because I love the way they write. They write. The uh, black soul is so poetic. He knows how to write. Okay. Then J Steve is someone that has swag. You know, he knows how to dress. You know, he knows how to dress. He has style. 
you know, and he's this, um, I don't know, I'll call him busybody. Yeah, you know, you notice him anywhere you go to because the of the way you pick kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, um, Blackso is the quiet type. He hardly talks, but he knows how to write. Wow. He's poetic. I think his mentor used to be Nas, Nas Rodemo. So, I was learning a lot from them yeah. and also from my own self too, being the producer of the group, being the, um, I write too, but mostly sing, singing and solo. So with time, they started making me to want to rap. So I started rapping. Wow. So uh, we're planning our first album before I now get an admission into Federal University of Technology. Now. Do I wanted to do, because I'm a painter by a bat, I wanted to do fine art. So I was looking for that course that we really do uh, marry everything together, yeah. you know, because I love plants, I love animals. So that was architecture for me. Wow. So because in architecture, there's what you call further painting and the rest. You know, and uh, as an architect, it's broad. Like I told you, architecture is a print media. For me, I, like I said, architecture is the only form of music. You know, I mean, architecture, we, you can design anything, furniture, you can design um, um, cages for dogs and the rest. That brings me back to the animal thing and yes. landscaping, and that brings you to nature too. So it was, was, was a good one for me. So it took time before I got into school. Um, I started from Ida Polytechnic. Then I started, I went, came and started all over from the media, foot me now, talking about two, two, 2003 slash 2004. So while I was in the, in school, you know, uh, they started doing their own personal recordings. You know, I came back, I said, you know what, everybody just hold your verse and the rest, let's just. So that's how the group now split it in, um, the group split it in two, five, two, five, 2005. Then 2006, I dropped my first um, studio album. Um, that was 10 track, type to the listing. That was 10 track. Then while, while in school, I think that was when I, I blew up in school yeah, because I have likes like Easy Bone on that album, you know, made me popular yeah. because it's more of a wet school and all of that. So in 2011, I now dropped um 18 track album, Titan Oh, Al oh What a Love. I dropped that, that one I dropped it in Mina. Then in Kaduna, 2011, I dropped um, Oh, What a Love. Then furthermore, when I went to Benin, when I met likes of, when I was with Global Records. Now, Global Records is being owned by Felix Liberty's elder brother. The man that Sangi former, I want to marry, yeah. is, based in, is based in America. So I was the artist management, um, you know, doing the graphics and all of that for them then. You understand? There too, I had a lot of, um, mm -hmm. uh, yes, music content and also um, experience. Then I happened to meet Majek Fashek. May so rest in peace. Yeah. You know, I was asked for instance, Lynn. He was supposed to be signing that label after the rehab he had. We had a song to do together. I think that when it was the guy, where is the guy? He told me that there's a blessing that comes with the song name. That was my song name. I told him, do we say I have a wonderful song name that I should add it? So, you know, it's like a revolution. After I added that name, before uh, Donna Boy now sang about Odogu, people started like, Odogu, Odogu now became very famous. Yeah. I think two years after when he told me to put my name, to put Odogu to my name. Okay. So after the, th after the second album, there was now um, like a break, you know, because I had to be serious with Akada. You know, I, I, I now moved to um, River State. I started my master's. So uh, when I was doing my master's, I said, okay, when I finish, I'll come back to Lagos. I now came back to Lagos. They're like, okay, we have to come back for convocation. I, yeah. I stay in my master's to 16. So going back for my convocation, now we have the reset mechanism, which is um, the pandemic. Oh. You know, so I was now stuck there. Yeah. So some new jobs were coming there. I was now staying there. Like, okay, I said, okay, maybe God wants me to be here. Then, but I still have this emptiness and hunger for being in Lagos. Yeah. You know, so I now dropped in 2020, I now dropped to the two tracks album, titled like Don't Judge Me. So it was supposed to be like two hours, like, no, let me just drop it. It's 22 tracks because if you check the, this, the time frame from 2011 to 2020, it's quite, yeah. I was silent. So I now dropped 22 tracks. Then that was tied to Don't Judge Me. I dropped it then. In 2022, I dropped Allah Hajibrin, Bring the Movie, which is five tracks. So that was where I experiment, experimented with the Hausa accent. I'm from Limo State. Um, I don't have to speak the Hausa language. So I said, let me just try something comical comedy rap and all of that and I did that it made it so popular in um, this is so now we have my fifth studio album who wow. dropped who dropped today uh, and I have likes of um, ferocious Terry Rapman on this project a uh, shout out to them all I have Osinigi on this project I also have Jap Sida a, a fast and rising lady that sounds like Cynthia Morgan too I also have Saint Vic shout out to Saint Vic then shout out to XV2 
uh, because I did the production, he did most of the mastering wow. and the mixes, yes. Wow, so, it, it's yeah. quite a beautiful story, you know. It's quite an, it's quite a journey. Mm. Now, you are an all-round kind of a artist, yeah. from painting to yeah. to music to everything when it yeah. comes to the art. What were the challenges in doing all this? What are the challenges? Were the challenges you faced and you are maybe still facing right now? Yeah, you know, you know the, the truth is that and they say the situation you go through are necessary for you to realize that you're great. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I keep telling people I remember the rules that grew from the concrete in the sense that all these things I didn't come out to say I want to learn this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I want to do this. The point is that due to disappointments, you know, in, in my line in the story, my storyline of my journey, you understand? I had a situation where I want people to do graphics for me. They tend to you know, play with you, delay you, the yeah, the prize, they delay. I say, man, I can't do this. I'll just put my mind in it, study it on the li on the internet, and on boom, shakalaka, I'm doing it. So I'm proficient in Quadro and Photoshop. You understand? Now for the production, I saw her when I was producing my. That that is when I told about. I recorded that song about five times. Okay. You know, I'm somebody. I'm a perfectionist. If I don't like the reverb or the mixing, you know, because. That, then that helped me with sound in here to, to develop my tonal center and my ear for music. So in that course of that, I said, this production, I can do this, I can do this, what do I need? System, I need this, I need this, and I'll dive into it, you know. The first video director that shot one of my videos, that was back then in Cardona, told me, ah, don't worry, if they finish work, mm. hey, if you shoot for me, that's how I blow. Man, this guy can't shoot in any ceremony for me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> in, in our salon, they call it sooner. When I now saw this, I was like, in fact, I could not, like, I was angry. I spent a lot. Then we're using all the, they're using this Sony Z camera yeah. then. We're using the tape. The tape, not now yeah. that you have to use a USSD and the rest. Yeah. You know, I was so angry. You know, I've already made my out that, oh man, my video is ha being handled by one of the best guys and everything. <laughs> I say, no. I say, you see this thing? I'm going to learn it. Yeah. Then we have, I now got experience from um, shout out to Mark Barrow, to come at Barrow. He shot where to go, uh, one of my videos after that one. So I learned, I was like, okay, I can actually do this. You know, learn about framing, learn about mm -hmm. the lower third, the headroom, the angles, you know. Just as you have these three cameras now, one is on me, one is on you, and how to mix them. And I said, I can do this thing. So that's how I started editing and wow, shooting. You good. understand? So basically, anything I touch turns into gold. If I put my heart in it, if I put my if I put my heart, yes, if I put, and I, I love artistic people. I love, um, you know, if you count my friends, you have to be creative. It's not like it's pride. You have to be creative so that, you know, they say iron sharpening iron. You have to be, they say, show me your friends and I'll tell you where you're heading to. And you know, funny enough, most of my friends happens to be media people. Even back there, any state I, I am in, I must have a DJ friend, I must have a presenter friend, I must have a movie director, I must have the owner of TV or radio station, I don't know, it always happens like that. Mm. So I just have passion for the, the yes, media. Yes, yes, yeah. for the media. Well, wow. yeah. Orali has the next question, but before Orali ask you, Orali, do you know why he was talking about the framing and all that? Mr. Johnson was not easy. You understand? Because, you know, he understands. <laughs> <Yeah. dad. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was not easy. Like, yes, this guy knows what he's talking about. This guy knows what he's talking about. All right, just a quick question. From all you've said, um, it's it's clear, it's a preferral that we talk about certain things that move or moves you. Now, from all you've said, I want to know what your source, your biggest source of motivation is. Yeah. Because um, it's it's really hard to delve into music at the same time, architecture, yeah. um, videography, painting. production, painting. It's, it's a wide range of scope that a lot of people may not be able to decipher. So please, on the show this morning, give us your biggest source of motivation and how you've been able to stay in tune with that sort of motivation okay um number one um my verse my source of motivation is disappointment mm -hmm. when i get disappointed you know like when people talk down on you and feel you're not really i've had situation where do back there when we do cds and tape djs they break my cd you know sometimes they tell you pay gate fee you know you will you will get to perform 
I could never want to show ethic back then in Kaduna State. With my group we're already in the toilet, you know. We already do wow, we're gonna kill this show, we're gonna shut down everywhere and everything. When they are waiting in and call us all. You know, that's what we all say. Thank you for coming for this episode. Next time we hope to have you here. I was like with our big big baggage in there and our food. <laughs> we trek. Maybe small trekking. Uh, so I think disappointment has been my motivation. Then also I'm somebody that um, I like doing research. Like I even have a journal I publish, but that has to do with architecture, integration of biochemical course and issues development. For me, if you see the way I draw, you tell me that the way I draw and design, I do, I do animations too. You tell me that oh I should leave. You know, you just there's a way I don't really know how it happened, but most of the time when I'm drawing, if you notice architects in the studio when they're drawing, they're always bumping music. If you've been to any studio, they always, there's always music to keep you going on. And most times, I play jazz music. I play um, classic songs like Enya and the rest of that to keep that. You know, um, architecture is a spiritual thing. Mm. You know, most of my designs and my songs, they come to me in my dream. So when I'm drawing most times at night, I just feel tunes coming in and I do that even though I'm singing. Most of my songs, like if, I, if you tell me that I want me to do a building design for you, I, I draw them in my dream first before actualizing them. So you know, you have, you have, to, have, um, you have to have a mental picture of what you bring. Like me, I have a very high pictorial memory. Yeah. You understand? If, I, if, I, if I'm here, so here like for the first time, I can still trace my, my way. Because you know, why doing the architecture too? People don't know architecture is so broad. Like the paintings you're talking. I did a course for that painting for three years. And our lecturers were doctors from EBS, uh, they were fine arts people. So architecture tends to, architecture is so broad that people don't know. That's why when people always say, I just to summarize, I just tell you guys, it's a solid form of music. So if I'm having those disappointments, that's, that's just my catalyst that speeds to the reaction for me. Yes, you get that. Disappointment can actually be a blessing to anyone. It depends on the angle at which you see it from. So it does not necessarily mean that being disappointed means you are, you are a failure. No. But we'll just go on this short break. And when we come back, I'll still be having orally in the studio with me. And of course, Star Slim Odogu is still here with us. And the conversation will continue when we come back. Stay with us. Close to my tree. Hello, babies. Pleased to meet you. I'm Alahaji Bring Bring May Sudan. Oh, my name is Shidima. Please don't mention what your presidential will change your dollar. Before I know it, I buy iPod, I play scopes, I buy palette, and the next day just follow me. I'm to guess what? Tomorrow is my birthday. I'm cool. Kai, what is your uncle? Didn't I pay not to call me your uncle? Brother. Kai, what is your brother? Do I look like a senior brother? Television from the overall program be our guest and I still have orally in the studio with me and of course Star Slim Podogu as our a list celebrity celebrity guest today he's still with us in the studio so 
Yes, Haslim, tell us briefly about that music, Alaji. Alaji Bring Bring. Okay, um, Alaji Bring Bring, you know, I think it's a kind of my experience. You know, um, you know, most times when you get to in some relationship, you just tend to see people that request, request, just because you're trying to be. Uh, this was to address. This song was actually to address those issues. You know, people. You, if you if you're nice to somebody, like you know, you do this thing for this person, you do, and the person just wants to take advantage. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You know, it, like if you can hear the line of that song, I decided to be single, fending when I'm going to mingle. Searching for a green fish I can enter for Vita Aqua. Okay. So uh, you, you, you paid house rent, you paid school fees, you pay, you bought the iPhone, then she now calls you that, oh, could guess what, tomorrow is my birthday. It's because you chose to do it. Who did the beat? <laughs> and when was this song given released? Yeah, this, this, was, this was 2020. Okay. 2020, 2022, yes. Okay. And the title of the album was A Large Bring Bring. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, That's yes. good. Yes, yes. You know, I, I, I noticed that some people behind the crew, uh, the camera, they were all already smiling and O'Reilly was even nodding his head to that music. O'Reilly. <laughs> so, um, quickly, what genre of music would you say you um, you produce or you sing? Okay, um, basically, my style is cla hip -so, classic hip-hop soul. Okay. You understand? Because anything I do, you find soul in it. You find classic because of my choral background. Yeah. If you listen to my song, you know that, okay, this guy, is that this guy was in the choir or you understand? The, but being the fact that I'm a producer, I've been being bamboozed by different artists, you know, with high life and the rest, you know. So producing them and recording, doing the sound engineering, you're also learning. Because most times, if they don't get their alto or their soprano, I'll tell you, okay, sing this part like this. Okay. Sing this part like this. So whether you like consciously or subconsciously, for you to produce, you have to put yourself in, in that person's world, in the shoe, and be like you're the one singing it. You understand? Just like, for example, architecture. If I'm going to design for a medical doctor, I have to think like a medical doctor. I have to act. That's why I have to do case studies, foreign, local, then also visit the one that is really working to see how it is. Same thing with the music. I will, okay, this is what, okay, send me the, the kind of song you want me to do. Okay, I, I now look for people in Nigeria that does such kind of music and see how I can come out with the court family and the progressions. Okay, people that might be doing something like this outside the country try to coin it. So, um, every music you see have my music to have some touch of afro and this new one i have so it depends so if depending the the, the how would i put it the um the audience i want to sell that music to if i'm going to write something about situation like this country something i wrote recently in this album you know i have to do something afro that my people can follow and mostly try to put some brokings and rest. so okay. it depends on my audience yeah. so if i if i'm targeting foreign audience do so much classic and sing and depending you know, so uh, basically, I sing in house I over Igbo. All right. You so know. Um, quickly, um, you 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 started basically from Kaduna. Yes, 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 now, yes. yes um, my if I'm now. correct, you you faced one or two being in Kaduna, especially um, pol political and um, religious crisis. Yes, yes, now, yes, yes. Has there been any song that you have sang about that? That's number one. Number two. Sometimes when you think about some of these things. How do you feel, especially when it has to bring about a song you are dropping? Because um, from, I know musicians from every hood they, they've been at or been in, they've always decided to drop something, like uh, something that coins around relativity. Yeah. So give us what you feel like, especially, you know, um, uh, there was a time I was in Joss and I had friends there and they did stuff for Joss. Now, this is Kaduna. I need you to tell us if you've had any So listen to the song and stay strong. Love one another. Be your brother's keeper. One love and unity. That is what I pray for my community. So listen to the song and stay strong. Love one another. Be your brother's keeper. Oh, I also did. I also did peace song. You understand? 
Uh, I did a piece of the atmosphere is ugly, boys are not smiling. We can go to bed, several tarts in our head. No need to pretend, Papa Mama are really scared. Panic in the air, this is really weird. Thoughts keep colliding, each time God shot, shots keep clapping. Obstacles in my middle ear vibrating her. her. And she is terrified, it's like her eyes seeing so much suffering. Scary movie, why? Why? People had to die, die. Why? Why people mama had to cry, cry? Why? The bombing, the killing, why? Why? So much smoke in the sky high. Crying from a distance, what I hear. No more love, people walking around in fear. When they hear footsteps, they all disappear. You understand? Yeah. I did something about that. And I also Very did good. something. Yeah. yeah, I also did something about the. Uh, um, Shall you know, say, hey, then don't come again, come again, mm -hmm. with another kind of uru, my guy, oh, that we need leaders and not killers, someone we can talk to, someone who understands, no more empty promises, I'll give you electricity, even water, child. We're still suffering and smiling, so arise, oh, be wise, oh, to choose, oh, else you lose, oh, lose, oh, show your mercy, hey, 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 we have to bring you back. I will yes for that. Before he yeah, time. before he lost. No, you can see that this is someone who knows his audience. He knows his job. He understands his craft. Now, are you currently working under a record label or do you have your own record label? Before we talk about the project you have at hand. Okay, um, new music happens to be mine. Um, due to um, Please say that again so that they get okay. it. Main Music International is actually my record label, okay. um, a subsidiary of Main Construction Limited. Um, due to disappointment, trying to, because like I told you, my motivation team factor is basically disappointment, yeah. you know. I've reached out to so many indie artists, you know, but I don't want to mention them. Yeah. I've slid in various DMs, you know. You know, most times, you know, people just call me that, ah, and I'm hearing some of the singing on TV, yes, you can do better than this person, honestly, you know. Knowing the fact where I grew up from, the not you understand. Okay, I know my onion. I just know everything will take time. Um, like today that I'm here, and I don't even know that I'm going to be here. Yeah. You understand? But it's God divine and connection. You understand? Shout out to uh, Mwaka and shout out to Chief Steve Ojo yeah. uh, for making me come here. You know, um, I just believe that. Oh, there's one called Poco Poco in music, little by little. I just believe little drop of water makes the mighty ocean. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not in a rush. Well, it will, when it will happen, I told myself, if I don't rain, I'm going to snow. Wow. So, no music happens to be my own label. That doesn't mean that I'm not open to work with other um, um, labels, you yeah. understand? Yes, yeah, so, so uh, no music is actually... All right, so quickly, just tell us about the project you said that is dropping today. So yes. that and tell your fans where they can go on to download it or to listen to it. Okay, okay. Um, how on that day is the title of the um, of the album? Oh, is that why you're wearing it there? Yeah, how on that day? Is what? Yeah. How is my brand? Yeah, yeah, that's my yeah. merch. Yes, so that's my. How on that day is my brand? Okay. Yes, okay, okay. How on that day is um, calling out from one of my song, you know, because I'm asking my my people in Nigeria how on that day. You understand? Like I was like, make it be like that. For national peace to reign, I don't show you street here as we go make on our head. Blah, 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 blah. At the drop, I'm as they hot and I turn that giddy bam for the not. Now, who be that? We want bad my flu. We they use ID look about to the price pepper. At the drop, my line. I saw the client to answer. But for that, boss, we the key face like oh, house friends. They say, they say we raise you, but also don't tie rapper. No, you for this country, snakes swallow money, politicians, furniture. They deserve some accolade. No, you there if you crack one joke for four years. Show sure, organizer if you like the drop, funny they go and I five million last and they call it for sure. The two dear that we. So, so the, the, the title of the track is How On A Day, and, yeah. and it's nine tracks in this, um, in this album. I have this country there yeah. talking about what is currently happening, you know, what we're saving, you know, uh, this country that we live in, uh, be like Monkey Post, uh, anywhere they left is this country that we live in. Uh, <laughs> so I have that there. I have um, self-produced. Yeah. Uh, how on a day? How on a day was produced by the, um, Ferocious. Shout out to Ferocious. I had Ferocious and um, Terry the Rapman. You understand? Uh, yes, the OGs. You know, uh, wow. like my guys. They 
my dark stain and not with the modern. So why can't people download this music? No, from for now it's on YouTube. Just go to YouTube. My YouTube okay. Stan Slim is there. Stan Slim. Stan Slim on YouTube. Okay. S T E N S L I M on YouTube is there. It's there for free, so <laughs> you can listen to it over there. Wow, yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. In Nigeria, having um, an album that's that's free is is something. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, the last question from me. Um, you have Gen Zs coming up. You have people who are probably from the north, east, west, where yeah. they're from. We want you to give them strong voices, strong stern warnings give them words of advice people want to be the next stanceling now everybody has their own individuality something to reckon with but people are watching people are listening also there are some people that sat down anywhere they are like you know what little kids growing up if this man can be here today i can also do the same thing please give them words of advice okay um like like i always tell my um students when i'm teaching them music you know it's not about playing all the keys on the piano, you know. It's not about playing all the chords, but appreciate that little thing that you can do. If it's only do re me, you can do. Most great songs are being produced with primary chords, so always be thankful to God for life. Hold God, you know. You can see my with high started, and you know, like I don't take alcohol, I don't smoke. You understand there are some habits that can make you that can push you into certain things mm. you're doing you understand so avoid them then as a matter of fact your friends and above all you have to be patient yeah you have to be patient the youths these days are not patient they just want to make it they want to buy bears they want to do this mm. you know a, a good name is better than